What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step by step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to export stuff from a calendar into an Excel spreadsheet. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer, please. Also, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. Without you, this channel doesn't exist. Okay, now let's get the timer going. All right, first thing you're going to do is if you want to get what's just on this particular month, go ahead and do that and hit export. But we're going to just pretend you want to look like, like everything that's on the calendar. So we're going to go to all events. All events are everything in the calendar. Now we're going to go to the list tab. From there, we're going to hit export to Excel. It's going to, oh, okay. And it's going to bop a file, save the file. Boom. You know, you go to the file, you click on the file, you open it, and it opens into Excel. It's going to ask you to enable, disable, just enable. And then, boom, you got, there's your stuff. There, There's all your stuff. You did it. All right, now, let's just pull back a little bit, slow down, breathe. All right, so what's going on here? What's, what's the big deal? Well, if you're familiar with uh, creating reports from SharePoint lists, it's basically the same thing. Um, I think the the biggest thing or the biggest shocker is that this is still in the uh, old school uh, classic looking feel here. Well, okay, let's just go all the way back. So let's say you are at the calendar. You are looking at your calendar and you're in the calendar view. And you're like, okay, I would really love to have this month in a spreadsheet. Well, you go to calendar tab and then you're going to look for export to Excel. That will give you just the month that you are viewing. If you want to see everything in the calendar or something from a different view, basically whatever view you're looking at is what uh, will be exported to Excel. So if you want everything, we're just going to switch that view by going to the view selector here and go to all events. And yes, if you're used to working with modern lists and libraries, this is this is what it was like back in the day now we've got all the items that we want make sure the view looks the way we want it to look because whatever columns appear here will be the columns that appear in the spreadsheet so make it look the way you want it to look and then we're going to go to the list tab and export to excel you're going to answer a question uh, we're going to go save the file and we're going to open the file and then we can enable or disable Notice what happens when you disable, you don't get the stuff. So if you're asking, well, what happens if I disable? That's what happens if you disable. So let's try it again. Export to Excel. Yup. Save. Open. Enable. And now we've got our stuffs. So let's take a look at what we're getting here. Um, these are the columns, basically. But uh, some columns that get added by SharePoint are the content type, calendar items are item content types uh, and the path is going to be the path of the site the name of the list which is calendar test so there you go hopefully this has been helpful please let us know what you think again do the best you can with what you got Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.